Hi guys, Natalia here. Can't you see outside on a window frame? It's snowing. OMG. The roof on my neighbor's already white. Wow, I do not like that. So why are we here? We are in my craft room and I want to show you this first panel that I finish. And guys, when I'm looking, like, this is a little bit messy area. It's my, like, a ribbons up there. A whole bunch of other stuff inside the cabinets. And usually I put in here, here is my, that I did before, resin thing. So it's kind of like a stay there. And I like this uh, hangers because then I can clip in. And when I step back, first, to be honest, when I was looking at uh, clothes on my table, I couldn't really see what is going on in here. It was looks to me like doesn't make a sense. But then when I step back far away, it is so clearly you can see the snowy trees, those bushes, the windows even. And it's like my mom house. She has this little tiny window up there. It's an attic. It's not living. It's like a storage attic. There's a chimney. Um, so that's a little tiny window that my mom have that and like she has up front like if this would be like a road in here So she has a one window that is living room and the other window would be on the front for the bedroom uh, And this is like it's so look alike and make me so good this diamond painting so I'm really happy after all when I step away and you can see how those purple colors that I thought it's kind of look awkward but they are beautiful from far away they faded and looks like it's dark starry, dark, starry night um, dark sky uh, frosty there is like it looks like it's a moonlight hitting like from this side I just now saw that um, so I really really love it so I think I might gonna start my second. This is the smallest panel from the right side. I probably gonna start another panel from the left side and then I'm gonna go to the middle uh, size and then biggest size uh, of the panel gonna be the last one, the longer one that go in the middle of these four panels. Um, but then I thought, okay, if I go to my table in here, I probably gonna finish let me zoom out I probably gonna finish this diamond painting because I already did all the way here on the bottom so might as well start on this one and finish so I can reuse my baggies to put away later this gems they are colorful up there so I might gonna work on this one in here, uh, it's gonna be like a tour. <laughs> Let me, oh, where do I put away this one? Okay, I'm just gonna kind of peekaboo from here. My sunflowers up there coming out beautifully, and this is upside down panel because the panel are so big, it's go all the way. Actually, I have here, guys, picture of my mom. And her house, she loves, she, this is fig flowers in her hands, but, uh, and this picture taken long, long time ago, but I really like this picture uh, by her house. And she's going to be 85 years old on November 11. So all kids of us chip in together, we're going to buy her some good gift. Um, so yes, and she can't wait to see me this coming summer because I promised to her if she can live longer, I will be come and visit her again in two years. So this summer will be two years and I have to keep my promise because we don't know how much time we have together. And this is the bottom of the canvas. Looks very, very pretty. So this one's sunflowers is from Victoria's Moon um, diamond painting. And then in here on my big table, in here there's another whole bunch of mess. Uh, I painted uh, yesterday with the black and actually I figured out for myself that 
I wanted uh, initially started from the top and go down but then I rethink and I thought when I start from the darkest color and this is 10 um, one I didn't touch yet but the 10 it's black and I should start from darkest color and up to lighter because dark colors represents shadow and they should be behind the other colors when you layer colors on top of each other not on top of each other but you mean you know like for example if you do in like a uh, light uh, well you should do dark one first then light one that would be like you know uh, nicer than black would be layer on the top of uh, lighter color so you need to do darker colors first and then paint by number the lightest colors go to the last so that's how I work in right now and in here what I have in here this is my beads from dreamer design canvas this one another from Victoria Moon I actually write down in here so okay so this one is my sunflowers beads this should go in here and this one is my fishy koi fish and that's the beads for koi fish in here um, and guys I'm gonna show you something very special uh, let me just put this box on the top in here of this paper this is beads from my panels for the winter wonderland I call look what my son made me He's 15 years old and they have a workshop at the high school and he built this box all by himself from scratch. Look at this. Look at this. He put my name in here. He sent it out. It's nice and smooth. So I was, I put my drills in here and he's like so happy because I put to use right away and this is the beads for my wonderland i call it wonderland but you know what i mean it's um this one picture so yes look at this awesome there's like a mechanism up there like a wooden um there's no nails up there but like a wooden thing that can do oh on the side you can see that's how it's closed it's a wooden pin in it so I think he did awesome job. I'm so proud of him. So I have my own personal treasure chest. And my koi fish up there. Oh guys, there's lots of project up there. Um, if I can take this board away. Here is my koi fish. How, how much I done already. She is gorgeous. She is gorgeous. She is so gorgeous. I just love the colors on this dark fish. So I did lots. Uh, let me put this box away from here. Okay, this is not supposed to be video. This part kind of, I don't know. It's supposed to be different type of video, but it looks like it's turned into show and tell. And I put lots of um, beads already here on the top as you can see guys I have really have to work on my um, craft room to organize but if uh, I can kind of give you a sneak peek a little bit if you're not gonna get scared and here is my dreamers design forgotten memory that it's sold out I believe under in here my personal diamond painting the only left in here guys this little corner that I still don't know what to do with it and what's under what's under okay this is the rainy day diamonds this uh, sparkle gems diamonds I have to pull out and work on that one too and under I'm just so glad to have this big table under what's under okay it's not in here I guess I guess I need to it's maybe on this table okay so this is some flowers that I show you and underneath it's another Victoria's moon but uh, 
colors that is that I started from another side, I guess. Uh, the coffee, coffee canvas. In this kind of stuff, I'm keeping it drills that I already don't need from different designs that I finished. Um, my crafty corner in here, this board that from Sears I bought the shell in. Um, so here is my kind of like a, a little bit of craft in here, a whole bunch of rub, um, stamps, clear stamps up there, a whole bunch of stamps up there. Um, and here, a little bit makeup uh, aisle now here on the top of my uh, leftover drills up there and those two, one is a square, one round one and one is my uh, tools like a roller, straightener, stuff like that in this box is I have a nails product box with beads, there's more beads up there now on the top of shelf, this box full of finished diamond paintings. Um, my tube, if I travel, I would put my diamond painting inside. Up there, just a um, uh, bag from my light ring. And here is the box full of the yarn for knitting. Um, now what I have here closet that is not finished. This closet all up there it's my beads that I need to reorganize it's a seed beads um, some boxes with pre-made jewelry stuff like that now on this shell all my nail supplies nail polishes nail and I really need to do my nails and I just couldn't get it there's a vinyl up there for making the shirt and up just miscellaneous stuff there's some more stuff on the bottom for my nails like uh, alcohol stuff like that um I, there's not really finished this room it's really messy so i'm not gonna show you everything um yeah so what else i'm doing let's see um also i'm doing a cross stitch in this day so let me take you to my uh other room so last night and a little bit this morning I've been working on my sky so uh, I started because I originally I wanted to go just like to this house and go down so I already stitched lots in here but then I decided to not mess with all those little pieces I just have a big chunk of the same color and that's a um, kind of interesting color for the sky but the 15 the blue one so go with this kind of color and I guys did made mistake and it's too late and it's not very big deal you're not gonna see it and I will never know where but now I feel like I've run out of shades of the color because I put in a wrong color and it really doesn't do any difference for this cross stitch because you're never gonna know but uh, I'm trying to find the symbols. It's like a plus, I think, or cross, something like that. Um, you're probably gonna find it faster through the camera. There's a few symbols only that I did not do right way, and I just can change some different color. But anyway, so this part is barely even touched, just a gray color on the sky. Um, but in here pretty much I done lots already and I, I start to see the road. I see uh, this berry, the yellow looks like it's going to be berry. I did not uh, cross stitch them yet. But I did lots of all these gray colors uh, yesterday too. And I think that's what I mistaken here. Uh, this part, uh, that's not nice to show you with my fingers. Where is my scissors or something hold on guys I'm so not nice okay so this part of the uh, kind of like a, a room in here so this part I stitch with the wrong color I I was gonna um, this right side is a right uh, properly colored but then little piece from here and to this brown color was supposed to be 
uh, brighter brown color and I stitch with gray so I thought well that doesn't really matter it looks like a shadow I don't know I don't really want to <laughs> tear apart this um, threads now so I'm just gonna leave it there and if I wouldn't tell you you would never know so I'm just gonna go with that that's it see I'm not perfect at all I'm flexible so but I like it I like how this tree now look in here looks for it pretty good so from far here this how it's look like looks like we have a horse in here on the back around that it's hard to understand yet that it is horse but it is horse with people sitting up there so yes I'm been gonna I'm gonna work uh, more today uh, maybe I'm just gonna put now away and do a little bit of the diamond painting um, because I've been stitching this a little bit last night, this morning, and I already missed diamond painting. So that's my plan. This is what I do. Well, also I'm gonna show you here a little bit on the back of my door. I put this kind of like a for the bathroom hanging for the door. And then I put a few of this, this one's supposed to be for the shoes, uh, but it's kind of perfectly pockets for diamond painting to put in here. Uh, in these bags I have cross stitching and some of the other organization up there I have under, it's more like a ribbons up there, whole bunch of ribbons in here, whole bunch of ribbons in the back, some jewelry I was making years and years ago. So this is another thing. And then I have a uh, whole bunch of diamond paintings stay in the shoe box. So I just put them like this inside of the box. And actually I write down name on the bag so I know which one is which one. And this is the kitty cat that I supposed to to do and the tulips, the one that was most wanted for me to drill. So um I have to do at least at least one kitty cat to show you this little pretty. Maybe this is what I should do now. But I need a bag. I need some more bags uh, empty out. So I'm going to do on this one, guys. So if you want to stay with me a little bit more and drill with me, let's do this uh, diamond painting a little bit more. So I have some more bags to organize my drills because I'm running out of space. Because as you can see, lots of diamonds already pre-organized. There's uh, this one from my personal diamond paint. Oh, no, no, this is from Victoria's Moon. Uh, and this one, there's you can see there's beads everywhere. So I need to finish some diamond paintings and put away. So let's go drill a little bit this together. Let's work a little bit on the symbol L. And I'm going to use this beautiful turquoise color black one I will do by myself because I will need to use a uh, light pad guys it's really dark symbols to work with without and the symbols itself is not printed very very bright like you can see those A but without light pad as you can see they kind of like look blurry so I need a light pad but for you it's not good gonna be to see colors true color through the light so I will be working on black when I buy myself. This video today guys very very spontaneous kinda. I didn't even plan to record this kind of video, kind of show and tell and drill in a mix. I really don't know what I'm doing. And I didn't really want to record any video these days because I still didn't do my nails and I feel kinda embarrassed to record video with bad nails because I chopped them very very short but right now they are resting for about a week or so so I think it's good enough and I need to start to decorate them and I just don't feel like 
I feel like I just uh, don't want to do anything this today. Just diamond paint. And it's depressing snow up there. I do not like the snow. It's like a wet ice actually, not really snow, but it's wet. It's melting. It doesn't stay yet on the ground. But it is uh, November 7th today. So I figure if I do this diamond painting quickly, then I will have extra empty baggie, which I do have a, lots of empty plastic containers, but they just take in a lots of space for me as of right now, because I have lots of containers already in use, uh, so might as well just use bags right now. Also, uh, if I want to do my winter wonderland, I don't need to worry about storage because they already prepacked in a baggie. And as you can see, it looks really good. Uh, the winter skin that I show you, if you are new and you did not see my unboxing video, that is from Floating Styles. And if you order, use my discount code Natalia20F all in capitals save 20% lots of beautiful designs this one that we're working right now on it's from Amazon from um, oh my goodness what's the name I, I black out right now can't remember I will link it up for you as well to this diamond paint and if you like flowers this can was perfect to work with uh, trip laser I just grab this one um, we can speed up a little bit with trip laser as well if you want to and they line up nicely but that way we're gonna finish too fast let's have some fun oops this one I really really want to order beaded cross stitch but I couldn't find yet good design that has this perfect beads all for example if I'm looking on Aliexpress all those beads just crooked and not even sizes um, different sizes flat bulky so if you know some good uh, seller from Aliexpress that have not bad beads please let me know in the comments what the name of the store and maybe I can order my son bought me a gift $25 gift card to shop on Aliexpress or anywhere else. I'm just still thinking if I should get somewhere from Michael's or from Ali. Just I don't know if I want to wait this long. He's awesome kid. I love my treasure box that he made me. Okay, let's go to next flower. So I'm just gonna go follow by the colors all the way around. So I don't have to change colors too often. I hope everybody doing good. What you up to?
must be the I think it's should be replaced wax inside sometimes bit doesn't stick or I did not put enough so I finished that little panel um, well it wasn't that little if you think but I finished in two days <coughs> And I just work with the, <clears throat> let me just sip a coffee here. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and I work only with one placer. That's what took me, I consider it took me a long time to work two days on such a little panel because usually I would be finished in one day. But I decided to create that panel with only one placer. So that's why it took me longer. But also my beads look good up there, line up all together. So I really like the details, how you can see from the far. I was surprised because when I was drilling, I did not see all the surprise. And I was kind of a little bit, even like disappointed a little bit. I thought okay I can see the house but where is all those details and then when I put on a hanger my diamond painting step back and I look and I'm like oh my god that is really good I can see every little details around the house even some branches of wood uh, not branches but something stained by that house um, <clears throat> it looks like a wood so I really impressed so I just can't wait to get to the more brighter side of the canvas because this side was kind of dark I would say in a darker side all those uh, mostly gray colors and I can't wait to start to create those uh, more brighter colors there's up there some beautiful colors uh, definitely We'll do on video so we can do together with you. I just want to finish this little one. At least you know I finished a first panel of this five panel just to show you how those beads look like on a canvas and it's a hundred percent no popping drills guys so that's really really good i like about the company also there is pour on glue only all canvases the same good high quality You know, finally, email I received from Amazon yesterday it says, um, this is not first time they tell me this kind of email send me. Oh, we like your YouTube channel. We like you to review our product. I'm just like, okay, interesting, right? Let's see what's up. And then they write, um, you buy our product for your own money. You leave our comments, leave us review, send us your video so we can review your video and then if we like, we will return your money for that product. I was like, really? I did not reply. I just delete that email because that's just a silly email. If you want me to review your product, send me your free product, give some discount codes for my viewers, and then I will review your product the way I like to review, if I like it or I don't like it. So, yeah, I just laugh and I delete the email. No thank you. It's my rules or no rules. 
if you're confident for your product you're not gonna negotiate to see review first especially oh buy for your own money and then review well then I will buy whatever I wanna buy when I wanna buy definitely not from your store that was just a silly email So if some of you will receive stuff like that, don't go for it because they will not return your money. Hey Poppy, go lay down. Oh, cat took his spot on the sofa, now I have to share. <coughs> yeah, if somebody sends you email like this and asks you to buy product and they will return money, like why would you agree on that? Tell them send you product first and then you will review for them. Also be careful because I've been receiving not first time already emails looks like from YouTube that I have some spam links on my YouTube channel and I need to um, go to the specific videos and uh, change or links or update or like fix them don't follow for the either look first where those emails were sent to you from and in my luck that was a scammers from Russia because if you see address ru are you on the end of the email thing that is a Russian scammer, so don't believe them. I've received twice already like this. They say, oh, if you don't fix those uh, videos in 24 hours, we will close your YouTube channel. None of that happened, and I've received twice already emails like this. So that's just the big scammers. Don't pay attention to those. Just a little warning. So I think if I work quickly today on this canvas, I might just gonna finish. Now I'm gonna turn the way around to the other side and that's how I work by the color because I'm gonna be finished with this color. Okay, now I'm silly, there's a... Okay guys, I'm sorry, there has a little label on this canvas, where this canvas is from and I kind of didn't see it's from KOTWDQ I just messed up I know it's DQ on the end because that's remind me ice cream shop <laughs> and I just couldn't remember the full name I'm sorry it's a KOTWDQ from Amazon this diamond painting oh my goodness sometimes I just have those blind moments then I could not remember name And sometimes I talk about something, then I get distracted, then I talk about totally something different by forgetting to finish what I was going to say in the first place. Oh my. I feel like um, <clears throat> I'm going to be having a lots of left of this color too. I 
think it's going to be very beautiful because this flower is just going to be popping out of the black background. So that's it. That's only what we're going to have this L a little bit in here. And that's it for this color will be. Then I'm going to start with W color, whatever is next to the L. You know how in the summer I like to put my diamond painting outside and the sunshine when I finish to show you how they look like. Now since you know it's not summer anymore, not too many shiny sunshiny days, mostly cloudy or rain like today rain turned to snow. Um, so there's not much sparkles I can show you. So I have to wait to the sunny sunny days to grab some of my finished diamond painting and quickly shoot many of those videos. Hopefully we'll have some sunny days. It will be pretty probably in the winter. I don't know how diamond painting glue will uh, go with the winter weather. For example, if I take it outside on a cold, it will be beautiful, you know, snow sparkle and diamond painting sparkle, but I don't know if moisture would be kind of skip under the glue or not, if I would be ruin or not. Have to think if I can record them outside in the winter or not. Just if it's nothing fall off the sky, you know. There's lots of sunny days and the winter when it's bright, also, there's nothing flurry, no falling down. So, just I don't know the weather wise. Okay, let me put a few more beads on the tray. So if not today, tomorrow I should be finished this one diamond painting and then I will show you in some other one. For example, if I will start on some different project, first I will show you how this diamond painting look like. Or maybe I will create one more video by finishing together with you, I don't know. Don't have a plan yet. I just do as it goes. Okay. This little corner and we're done with this color. This morning I was watching my squirrel playing. I saw them three, so I don't know if something happened to the one. Because in the beginning it was the four of them. And now sometimes they come all together, but it's only three. Eaten seeds, entertainment me, my dog, my cat, and go back to the warm spot of their nest. They are tiny yet, but those bushy tails of there, oh, so pretty. Oh, one bit jump right on the canvas. I love the way they put those tails up and crawled up by their heads, like, nice, nice. They are pure. Beautiful. I love them. Okay. And oh no, I have one more flowers. How 
down on the very bottom canvas where I already did my black beads done. Oh, here she is. Squirrel will show up on my window right now. <laughs> if you finish this flowers flower and she will be still there, I will show you. She just jump up. Because they finished already eat their treats. And I have some uh, pots with flowers still left on the deck. Like they need to be really thrown away, but I just keep them because they are hiding the nuts in the dirt up there and they still eat those flower seeds. So I just don't want to throw them away till they finish with them. It's my babies. I don't care when other people don't like them. My husband hate them. I don't care, I love them. They are gorgeous. Okay, my camera shut down me, but you see what I mean? Oh, squirrel went up there. So they digging on the flower pot now. She went all the way up there looking for some stuff. Then I would come to my window in here and just play in here. So she's on a hunt right now. Here it is, one little beauty. Go see squirrel. Come on. Come here. Go see squirrel. That's our daily entertainment. And here's Buddy. Yes, he loves squirrels too. Where is she? Usually when one get down, the other ones come in here. Come on. She still have some seeds from sunflowers. Buddy, where's the squirrel? Where is she? Where is she? Oh, she's grooming herself. Oh, how cute. She washing her fur. There. Bath time, I guess. That was cute. Now she's even seed. That's my daily entertainment. Oh, here I come, here I come. Here's one more. Usually they fight together over the seeds. And here they go, Wrestlemania.
too bad my window have the screens so it's not very clear shot but as you can see the grass getting a little white and it's actually melting and we go shopping somewhere she's gonna go into my flowers up there digging the dirt and first time seeing the snow probably amused what it is because they are baby first time seeing snow that's cute she actually looks like laying in the snow and tails up oh that's funny enough entertainment for today where is she <laughs>